Good morning and welcome to my Friday. I've just got up, just got out of bed. I am going to not have a bonkers day today. I'm going to have a relaxed pace day, hopefully. I've got so much music work done yesterday, so much preparation work done. I've done all the prep that I need to do now. So from now on, it's just enjoy the day and enjoy the evening. <laughs> so I've got a gig this evening, but it's not exactly, it's a sort of gig. It's kind of like for a club of people that have been meeting for decades and there's lots of different people doing bits and bobs, different singing and playing and whatever. So we're a bit of a collective. So we're gonna do a bit in the beginning and then other people are gonna get up and do songs and then we're gonna do a bit more and there'll be a break and a raffle and then other people will come up again. There's like a scheduled program of it all. We're doing three big stints and there's not as many people doing the, the spots this time because it's clashing with another event that's quite similar so it's not going to be as many people as usual so we might end up doing more than we usually do but two of the key figures have decided to retire so we've had a bit of a change of personnel which is why I've had a bit of panic learning to do because we've got two different singers that have never been in the sort of the main band before so we've just had a bit of extra groundwork to do this time but now that's done you know when they come again we can just say oh yeah do Snowbird or, oh yeah, we'll do that one and I can just open the page on the folder and boom, I'm straight in there because I've got it all down. So hopefully now over the next few months with that one, we'll just build up a little repertoire and it will be a bit of extra work, but then we'll have it to go then and then as time goes on, it'll just be a matter of opening the page on the folder and getting straight to it. So yeah, it should be all right really. Anyway, I'm uh, happy that's all done. So I get some proper practice done today, hopefully in my sala. And uh, I'm not quite sure what else. So I'm gonna see what the day brings. It's a, a wet and murky day out there. Anyway, I'm gonna get my coffee on now and get started with my morning things. I'm being a lazy emo. I'm cooking instant noodles for lunch today. <laughs> with some frozen prawns thrown in for a bit of protein. I normally have cheese with it, to be honest, but I'm a bit wary of the cheese before gigs at the moment because I think it's making me wheezy, not sure. I don't think the dairy was what was causing me upset stomachs after breakfast because I had a few days without it having switched to soya yogurt and it was fine and then it's just started up again I'm wondering if it's fruit because I tried eating the yogurt with just like the nuts and seeds and it was well it was still a bit iffy to be honest but today I just had the protein packed lentil cakes with butter and marmite and I was fine so I don't know Maybe I've got IBS or something, <laughs> probably TMI there, but it, it's happened. This began, not the last time I had COVID, but the time before. Ever since then, I've had an upset stomach almost every day after breakfast, if I eat what I normally eat for breakfast, or if I went out and had like a pub breakfast or something, or a, a cafe breakfast, like a big breakfast. Just sends me running for the loo afterwards every time. This is a bit of a pain, really. I know there's certain safe things, like just eat plain rice cakes or something. I'll be all right. Very odd. Probably people will be writing in the comments now, oh, you've got irritable bowel syndrome, maybe, who knows. Um, anyway, speaking of syndromes and things, I was beginning to wonder if I had long COVID because of these symptoms kicking on coming back. Today, I woke up feeling fine, and then the symptoms came back, and they lurked for an hour and a half, maybe, and then just switched off again, completely out of the blue. There's no in-between. I feel like a cracked record keeping on saying this, but it's true, it keeps happening, and it's happened today, and now I feel absolutely fine again. Anyway, I did a little bit of Googling, went onto the NHS, the National Health Service UK website, and they define long COVID as if it goes on for longer than 12 weeks, and it said many people take 12 weeks to make a full recovery, so hopefully I'm just going to be recovering and it's not a sign that it's going to keep being a pain <laughs> ongoing as I would have to adapt my life a bit I'd have to be flexible I think if this was to go on for ages but hopefully it won't be so I'm not going to worry about it till 12 weeks <laughs> if it's still happening 12 weeks I'll, I'll start thinking about it again I suppose I'm just going to have to accept the ebb and flow a bit and just hope it doesn't strike during gigs because the last gig I did when it struck it was a real effort I had to take a paracetamol and I was literally looking at the clock wanting to go home the whole time which is not what you want when you're at doing a gig for somebody really is it I mean I had a smile on my face and I went through the motions but I was absolutely knackered at the end of it uh, anyway right I'm going to stop rambling on I I have got to go well I haven't got to but I think I'm going to nip to a, a little this afternoon before heading out to my gig and I'm not going to a big little I'm going to a little little <laughs> I want to just grab a couple of bits for just eating on the go tonight when I'm out and tomorrow as well because I've got a gig tomorrow as well my cowboy one tomorrow and uh, that's all really but I want a little bit of a walk I don't want to just be sedentary all day I need to practice my flute I won't film that but I need to go and do that uh, and I need to work out my logistics I'm staying at my dad's tonight because I said that two people had retired 
from this group of musicians that I'm playing with tonight, but actually it's three, because IB has as well, because he just doesn't have the time to do the preparation work. I mean, he can turn up and jam, and a lot of them are easy enough to do that, but there are, as I said, there's certain songs, they're in unusual keys that don't fit the fiddle very easily and have unpredictable chord changes. So he just he just hasn't got the time to do the preparation because he works, he's got, um, he runs a business. So he just hasn't got time. So he's gone as well. So I'll be staying at dad's afterwards, basically. Yeah, because dad has taken his place. Right, so I've swapped my boyfriend for my dad. That would be a title and a half, wouldn't it? I won't, I won't, that's too clickbaity. <laughs> Give these a little prod. Oh, I'm hungry. My stomach has actually been rumbling. Right, so sorry for the boring food today. I know people do like the food. Probably not everybody does, but the vast majority do. I know because of retention graphs. There's always a huge surge over all the foodie and shopping bits. I'm going to put my clean stuff away and put dirty stuff in while that's just finishing up. I've arrived at Lidl and traipsed through the rain to get here. I think this is missing a wheel or something, it's making a scraping noise. I had to dig down the pile of trolleys because most of them didn't have the long pulley thing on, it was broken off. So this was the third time and it's um, something the matter with it. Anyway, I've got bakery items so far. It's much more crowded in here at this time of day. 50 50p. Are my, my eyes serving me correctly? 50 pence. Should have bought my trolley. I've only got my rucksack. That's, look, this is all taking up the whole trolley. I thought I don't need much. Oh, no, it's unsweetened. No, it's not. Ah. Mm. Turn number three, please. I'm not sure if that's the right one. I don't want to bolt bite it if it's the wrong one and it's going to curdle in coffee. I don't know. I'll just get one. Oh, I hate to leave them there on the shelf if they're 50 pence because that's nearly two quid normally for the Owl Pro equivalent. That won't curdle. So I'll get that, that's 139. But I've really gone off oat, I've just had too much of it. It's just, I'm off it at the moment. Anyway, I've grabbed this for tonight. I'll eat that tonight. I probably need to take some other snacks. And for tomorrow's gig, I didn't want to get something fresh from the bakery because I think it would be stale by tomorrow. So I was looking to see if they had anything else and I'm, nothing is jumping out currently, I must admit. Oh, hang on, it's over it. If I'd have gone to a big little and not a little little, I'd have had more selection, wouldn't I? They've only really got sandwiches and if it's just sandwiches, I'd rather make a sandwich. If you know what I mean. Crumpets are reduced, but I don't know what to. Look, it doesn't say on the label. I'm gonna grab a packet of apps and I'll make my own. Now I'm not holding out a lot of hope for the one and only other thing on my list, which is yogurt, because I'm still not sure whether I should avoid a lot of dairy or not. I don't know. I don't know if they've got soya. Let me have a look. Yes, they have the Vermondo, Vmondo. This does have cultures in it, so that's what I want. Just sugar-free plain soya, so I could have a bit of honey with that maybe. Right, I'm gonna give it a go. It's one pound nine, so it's a pretty good price, I think, for something of that size. I'm going to grab some halloumi while I'm here because I just always have it in the fridge for when IB comes over and randomly wants a curry out of the blue. Oh, I don't know if like goat's cheese, you know, but I'm holding off partly because of the cheese thing and partly because I've got a lot of cheese in my fridge to eat because I haven't been eating it as much. That's about everything I need really, although there is one thing I need which is another umbrella really. I've got my big one today. Now normally I like to have a little fold up one that will go in my bag easily because there's nothing worse than having an umbrella in your hand all day as you're traipsing around from place to place and on and off public transport. Mine is going in. it's on its way out you know it's on its last legs so to speak so I'll have a quick look I've put around the other side I'm not holding out a lot of hope you know because this is a little little as I said the bigger ones maybe I don't know I'm thinking these long tops here look nice for sleeping in actually like a nighty <laughs> I don't need a nighty I'm all right for clothes I don't need it just for the sake of it but it looks kind of nice and cozy I think I'm gonna go and pay now okay tell a lie I just picked up a courgette and now I'm thinking I could have some salad in my roll I'm wondering if this looks okay I think it, mm, it's a little sweaty looking but it's very cheap but it's 49 pence so you know I really complain right I'm gonna have that in my sandwich tomorrow I'm back and it is different. This is what I just bought. And this is the one from my fridge. Do you see the difference? This is unsweetened and this is like just slightly sweetened. This is the one that doesn't curdle in coffee and I suspect this will because all the normal unsweetened ones are just having tea. If you put a bit of bicarbonate of soda in with the milk, you know, before you add anything hot, it doesn't curdle and it's, it always seems to work. Great little hack. You don't have to put much in, the tiniest little bit works. But I just, I prefer the taste. I prefer the taste of this one. 
I'm used to it. That's why I don't be even more thrifty and just use the unsweetened because it's half the price or less than the, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm making coffee. I'm gonna go practice my flute for an hour. Then I'm gonna have a leisurely hour of just getting ready to leave. And I'm not getting back till tomorrow afternoon. I'm hoping to collect my flute tomorrow from Cardiff. I think what I need to do is leave all my stuff at my dad's, go to the music shop, come back to my dad's and then leave again because otherwise I'm gonna have to lug all my stuff into town and back out again. I'm gonna have to take my shopping trolley because there's no way I can carry everything just in my bag because I need all my micing up gear, a spare outfit, I need a music folder and I've been numbing and knowing, should I leave my laptop at home? But then if I do that I can't edit on the train going there or edit on the train going back and if I was to wake up at seven in the morning or whatever and not want to disturb my dad I can just get on with some editing in the morning when I wake up. That's quite unlikely <laughs> but I can't get on with it if I haven't got my laptop and there'll be a lot to do when I get back and I've got a gig tomorrow as well. 10 past four now, I've come up out of the cellar, did my hour of practice. I was very relaxed about it today. I just feel like all the spade work has been done. I could just relax now. I haven't got any more sort of tricky, preppy things to do for ages now for the foreseeable, just stuff for the Kaylee band, but that's easy compared to this stuff. It's just a matter of assembling tunes in the right order, really not a lot of learning and figuring out, you know, those are the bits that take a bit of time. And we're actually four men down tonight, not three. <laughs> this is going on and on, but actually we're more than that. So three people have retired from the normal entourage and also one of the people that's normally there and will take lead vocals on certain numbers is not available because he's gigging with another band so we're four men down so we're a completely new group like we've played yeah no we're a new group so <laughs> we formed on Tuesday and right you know I was saying about people getting up and singing songs and their names like down on a list three of them can't come now because of illness so <laughs> <laughs> I just got to the point, I just, when there's nothing you can do about a situation, it's just, that's when all the stress tends to go from me. When I can actually control it by working harder or fitting more in, then I feel like I can influence the outcome. But when it's just like gone beyond the point of hopeless, like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 8 till 11 we got a lot of hours to fill with one group of people that's sort of got together really on Tuesday so uh, yeah I think what we'll be doing is a lot of really really well known easy songs like Whiskey in the Jar and Wild Rover and things like that that everyone can sing along with and then it'll be fine everyone can just improvise <laughs> along with it it's gonna be one of those nights. It'll be fine, won't it? I need to get going in about three quarters of an hour. I'm gonna pack up my trolley, just think carefully now, turn the camera off and think carefully about all the important things that I need to not forget. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'll do that and I'll speak to you later, probably on the train. I'm on the train and it's all gone suspiciously quiet. I mean, it's great for my vlogging audio, but why has the engine been turned off? Uh, is it very, very quiet people-wise as like, well, actually, I don't think there's anybody on here apart from me at the moment. It's that time of day. It's like when you live in the South Wales Valleys, you find that rush hour goes in a certain direction. It goes down towards the big city in the morning and back up again in the evening. So everybody's going the other way to me at the moment. It's raining. I've had my umbrella up all the way here. And I had a look at the river as I was passing and it was a brown and it was way higher than usual and it was rushing pretty fast. You know, it looked like there was a lot of energy in that water. Anyway, speaking of energy, I'm going to get some milk and some food. Oh, did you like that link. It has like a game show link or something. All right, here we are. Going for this. Do you know what? I don't think dairy was the culprit. I've been wheezing today. Well, not wheezing, but wheezy. When I was playing my flute, there was a definite catch there in and out, and it was affecting the tone again. So uh, I don't think it's dairy because I don't think I've had any dairy for two days unless I remembered it wrong. I was reading a little bit about goat's cheese versus cow's cheese, you know, or goat milk and cow milk. And apparently, according to my Googling anyway, the goat's milk still contains lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant, it can still affect you. But some people are sensitive to cow and not goat. So I don't know. I don't think it's it anyway. I have eaten my dinner and I have edited and now it's getting a bit dark out there. I'm in the car now with my dad. We're just coming through Dane's Court at the moment. We have arrived. This will probably be full of people seated, but let's see how many turn up this time with all the people missing and the clashing event. <laughs> Right, we've sound checked and uh, look at these leads everywhere, blimey. Um, that's not IB's fiddle. Oh, we got, some, we got an imposter fiddle player tonight. Right, I've got a little packing cube here with clothes in. I'm going to go and get changed into those and some different footwear, as you see. I'm out, got a dress on. Dad's bought me a pint of Pepsi Max, lovely. I'm feeling pretty thirsty, actually. Little mandolin there. 
room's starting to fill up with people. We'll be starting before much longer, about oh, another 10 minutes, I think. I'm vlogging in the bog. The floor spots are on now, so our first set went really, really well. It didn't half make a difference doing all that preparation and also the couple of rehearsals that we had, really. Yeah, it was really lovely, went down well. I've got to hurry though, because I'm going to go and get a, a beer in and buy a drink for somebody and uh, get back, sat down, ready to go back on again. Is that all right tonight? Yeah, it was great. Enjoy it, Jim. You're on the floor, look. <laughs> Jim's been a star. Doing some fantastic singing. <laughs> it was good. It was a good night. Yeah, really cool night. Anyway, it's tidy up time. Oh, hello, Dad. You want to be on the floor? Yep, oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> right, 20 past 11. It's time to go. Oh, it's a long night. All done. Went really well. I nearly forgot to say good night. It's about 20 to 1 now. I'm at my dad's place. Uh, about to go to bed, I'm in my pyjamas. Yeah, we had a successful evening. Everybody enjoyed the night, so that's the thing, isn't it? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Good night.